This week on Road Testament, winners of the year, losers of the year, bike of the year, car of the year, and the beater of the year. Is that good? good. That works. Jamie, Mike, Wes, Larry, Farah on Road Testament. Follow us on Twitter at Drive. Flip the switch. Follow us on Facebook slash Drive TV. You may notice Chris Harris, Leo, Mike Spinelli, and JF are not here. They're not team players. We are here. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's get into this. The winners of 2012, we basically, uh, well, Spinelli, who is not here because he's not a team player, sent out a, a questionnaire for us to choose our favorite cars, biggest winners, biggest losers, car of the year, predictions for 2013. It is a whole mess of stuff. So, winner. Porsche. Kurt, Mike Musto and JF, Porsche box. Every, everything, I think, in the, the forthcoming Porsche lineup is a winner. They've just reinvented the whole brand, and I think it's fantastic. And they don't make a bad car. They don't make bad cars, that's true. But their sports cars are are kind of polarizing now. Richard Hammond like drove the new 991 and then immediately bought a 997. So people kind of don't like the electric steering. Yeah. I, I dig the Boxer, though. I like the Boxer. You the Boxer yet? Cool. No. You drive, you I don't drive cars yet? anymore. Yeah. You don't drive cars <laughs> yeah. anymore. There's one problem with the Porsche brand, all right? You look like that guy if you this drive guy, one. Yeah. Are you telling me Daniel Baldwin doesn't look good driving this car? That's right. That's right. It doesn't look right. Still, you, you can now, I think, be a man and drive this car. Yeah. And For the first time, you high. can be a guy and drive a Boxster and yeah. still feel like you have your junk The funny the problem with the Boxster is you could all, they were always kind of cool. And they were always it was good. fun to drive. But now, yeah. I think that Porsche updated the looks enough yeah. so it has that kind of aggression to the that front end. That is a man car. Yeah. And as voted by by several people, including me, uh, SRT bringing back the Viper, more power with traction control, doesn't want to kill you, looks awesome, especially in that color, big meaty tires, stick shift, good interior, what's not to like? But didn't they, didn't they just post that the, the Zero One beat the Viper around? With with the Rand, yeah, and then Ralph Gilles basically said, well, Randy Popes isn't a very good driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ralph Gilles is like the baddest ass he, like, car executive dude, yeah, yeah, ever. Well, like, he yeah. has to be. Yeah. yeah, I think it's, you know. Well, he, he makes that car. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, he makes that car, and he sent uh, Marco and John to race us in one yeah. lap, and they were, those guys are cool. Yeah. Next winner, Ian, hit it up. Bikes. CRF 250L. So right. I don't even I don't know anything about this. This thing bike. costs four thousand five hundred dollars. It's a dual sport, it goes off road and on. Um, it can go anywhere any dirt bike can go off road. It's really fun to ride on road. Um, and it gets like seventy four miles per gallon. Really? Four thousand five hundred dollars. That's pretty That's awesome. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Four thousand five hundred dollars. It's yeah. awesome. Honda's it, it, motorcycle it, 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 game is yeah. pretty is pretty tight these days. Honda has the tightest motorcycle game there is right now. All their new products are cheaper than ever and yeah. better than ever and get great fuel economy and they're all Super versatile and practical. You can ride all of them all day. CRF 250L, CBR 250R, NC 700X, CB 500, CBR 500, CB 500X. They're all just epically, that's my epically, <laughs> <laughs> epically good motorcycles that are that are, that are super cheap. Would this bike work for say a beginner up to somebody like my size? No, yes, uh, honestly, yeah. it's a great beginner bike. It, it, is. Yeah. it really is, yeah. and and you can go far with it in terms of you know the level as well. Yeah. It's not just for beginners, but it's a great. I like forgiving motorcycles. Yeah. That yeah. looks like a forgiving motorcycle. That's it. Because yep. I suck at riding them. That's probably why. <laughs> Let's hit the next one, Ian. What do we got? Uh, oh, uh, yes. So good. Motorcycle Max, racing. Max Biaggi, yeah. yeah. He's, um, he's been in the World Championship for many, many years. Um, Valentino Rossi knocked him kind of off his perch in MotoGP. He went over to World Superbike. He's retired now, he's like 42, and he just won the World Superbike Championship. And then the retired like the next day, yeah. right? Yeah. He, he was an amazing it's championship. Boss move. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Super boss, like, of course and it is. The RS V4 Aprilia there is, uh, is one hell of a machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah Wes knows that bike well, having dropped one. <laughs> <laughs> having, having total. Not just one. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I mean, to retire at the top of your game, That's hopefully you doesn't go screw out. it up and yeah. come back like Schumacher. He's not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he, 42 is pretty old to be racing motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, and he's been at the. T he's he's one of the he's few riders there. that's been right up there in the top of the world championship, fighting for the world championship yeah. year in year out. You know, so happy retirement, Max. Good, good on him. Next winner. America. Circuit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> America's a winner because we have a Formula yeah. One racetrack now, and uh, awesome. I mean, look at the, just this picture. The elevation, look how far down Dude, that this is. is. That is, and I drove this track. It's ridiculous, and it's, right? 
awesome. The onboard footage that I've, I've been seeing, I haven't got the drive yet, it's, but it looks it's amazing. It's spectacular. Spe- they're they're going to start opening this up for track clubs and whatnot. Thank God. So I know in March I'll be down there for a three-day track. I, I, I will totally go to Austin yeah. and drive this track Fantastic. all day. Fantastic. And they get the Venom GT. The, the biggest thing that they need is the surrounding areas need to bulk up as far as hotels and things like that. Because if you go down there, there's no place to stay. Well, is, is in Austin like 20 miles? Well, it's a little farther than that. Oh, it's, it? Yeah, well, it's pretty far. Well, I'm sure they'll get it. This, this is a bad. The best is though when you when you drive up on the right hand side for anybody who ever goes there. There are two houses completely full of junk and rednecks. <laughs> and they just sit out there and watch everybody come up. Just it's awesome. right yes, the it's outstanding. That's brilliant. MotoGP is here next year. Yeah, we're going to be there. Oh, absolutely. Are you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. extremely uh, it's, awesome. It's going to be a great motorcycle track as well. Yeah. Right now, so. so that's the that's that's our collective bargaining agreement of winners right there for 2012. I think we should move on to the losers. Honda, not okay. Honda, they had a rough one. They had a rough year. But not only do they have this thing, which sucks, uh, they had to redesign their Civic after one year. They're not well, they, they didn't really design this redesign the Civic. When they yeah, said they, they redesigned it. Yeah, it's so. they're just JF sent it submitted Honda and I sort of agree with him. They're just they're remember like in two thousand when Hondas were awesome? That's what I was gonna say. Ten years ago, as yeah. car journalists, anytime anybody asked us for a car recommendation, yeah. you either Honda. said Honda Civic or Honda Accord. You exactly. did it, right? It was just the move. It, now, now it's Hyundai. Yeah, now it's Hyundai. Now yeah. it's Hyundai. <laughs> you know what I mean? Automatically, what, what car should I buy? Hyundai. Honda, yeah. 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 And, and it's yeah. I just raced the nineteen ninety nine Honda Civic in Lemons and it was, it was awesome. Great. Yeah. It was yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It weighed nothing. I ran at the 7,500 RPM, six times a lap for literally six, uh, 300 laps. And it was like, pff, just no problem. It was mm-hmm. great. Yeah. It was really fun, and I, I really wish they would put uh, an SI gas engine in this. They won't. And just call it a day, but they won't. Fail. Next. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, Let, remember my Mini? Yeah, I had a 2006 stuff. John Cooper Works Mini, and it was awesome. Yeah. It was so fun. It was Both really of us fun. Could fit in it we could fit in yeah. it great. Now, why hasn't Mini added any horsepower to their cars in the last 10 years? I don't think there's any room. Really like this thing, the John Cooper Works version of this thing is 208 horsepower. That is such a sorry number. How much does that car weigh? That one is probably, probably 3,200 pounds. 30, 30, a 3,200 pound car called a Mini. Yeah. yeah. They just keep getting bigger. They keep now, getting actually. bigger. Well, the problem is they tap the handling to be so good and so good. And you do see a lot of these guys at track days. and, and Not with a countryman. Well, with you many countrymen at a track day? Oh, yeah. I've seen a couple of really? cars. <laughs> 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 one of the, one of the They're out there. Really? And the problem with these cars is that goes back to the power. They handle pretty well, yeah. but then as soon as you get on any type of a straightaway, oh, you're the, anything. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that's not killing those is like Miata's. Yeah. That's it. Everything else is just kicking. I mean, we had the John way. Cooper Works, uh, the, the coupe one, like the yeah. really that's that's not bad. baseball cap yeah. one. And, and the straightaway at, uh, at Auto Club Speedway, the Focus ST smoked yeah. it and cost like Thirteen thousand dollars. Well, that the Cooper Mini, the coupe, the baseball hat one. Yeah. That's thirty eight thousand like dollars. It's, it's like insane. Wow. That's a big nut for what amounts to. I mean, like I paid thirty six for my John Cooper Works mm-hmm. Mini, which was a lot. Yeah. And I and actually I thought it was worth it at the time. Yeah. And it was. I got a lot of a lot of fun times out of that car. But they, they're sort of like what Subaru is doing. Like they haven't really gone anywhere. No, they since need to reinvent then. now. It's they need fun. they need bigger engines. Yeah. You know, or bigger turbos or whatever it is they do. So Mini. Get your horsepower game in check, because this thing ain't fast enough for what, you, what it looks like. No. Next, Harley Davidson. Jamie, would you like <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of kind of quite disappointed that they don't come out with like a, you know, a new motorcycle and just change the game up, because uh, they, they can, and they used to. They used Didn't to they make, make a sport bike they in used the 70s? To make some well, amazing bikes the back in the day. I, and was, I know that they're all about cruisers and stuff, but you know, all I see is just they're just not changing much at all, and you know it's such a shame. There's a huge See, brand the right there. there. He's, he's really like, trying he's hard to not. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard a, a, a very, very way smart, too much, a very smart person said something to me the other day that really sort of resonated, uh, and he said uh, the sound of a Harley Davidson is the sound of America dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Was well, Bill coming back? The most. Uh, the, um, new Eric Buell is no longer associated yeah. with Harley in any way. He, he, has, he, has, cool he has, uh, his own brand. It's right. very small. They're based in a garage in East Troy, Wisconsin. They will never sell volume bikes again. He makes a very high-end race bike. But his bike looks nice. really cool. Oh, it's a really great yeah, bike. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. funniest, the most telling thing about Harley Davidson is that when I was looking for photos for this, I, I just typed into Google 2013 Harley Davidson. 
And then I typed in 1995 Harley yeah, Davidson, exactly and the, the pictures look exactly the same. <laughs> there is like, there's, I mean, this is 2013. Yeah. What about this says 2013? Those lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the little <laughs> Zeno. Those are heinous. <laughs> <laughs> Those are really <laughs> awful. All right, enough yeah, crashing Get that Harley. thing off our screen. Yeah, yeah. go. BMW. The I didn't like, they, like pump in the everything uh, sound. is just. Yeah. I didn't really like the new M5. Their whole thing is flat. Their entire model year is, is it me or is B, are BMW and AM or M and AMG switched a little bit now? Now yeah. like totally yeah. AMGs totally. Yeah. are like exciting and yeah. loud and fun and yeah. involving, and these are sort of like muted. Well, back in the I mean, you, if you go back to like early '90s up through you know mid 2000s <coughs> anything with an M badge was fantastic yeah, and, yeah. and a genuinely fantastic you had an automobile. E39 M5 yeah. which was awesome yeah it was a great car and but even the M3s were I mean they were all great now yeah. it's just they're kind of big muted boxes the exhaust thing really pisses me yeah. off yeah the most that when you're pumping the exhaust through the, and, through the radio and honestly when you're driving it you really can't tell the difference like you, you don't notice but it's just the fact that it's there yeah, you don't do it. that dude not a performance and, car yeah. and it's, uh, it's it's fast but it's they're not particularly exciting to drive it's like turn the exhaust up like we had the X5M and I actually thought that, that was, was more fun yes. than the M5 yeah. absolutely because that thing does things that like SUVs shouldn't be doing well, physics it, defi- it, it really defies physics whereas this is like it just kind of is. And they don't really... Well, that doesn't look exciting to me. If I'm going to spend yeah. all that money on something with an M badge that has 500 plus horsepower, I want to pull up to some place and have people go, all right, that's something different and yeah. something unique that is special. And that... Which is, actually, the AMG cars They look special. That. Yeah. Actually, that yeah. Not so much. Yeah. Sorry, BMW. I like you, but... Okay. Yeah. Now, Ferrari... If this is not a knock against California. I put this on here. Ferrari are not losers. Ferrari customers are losers because <laughs> Ferrari will sell you one of these with a manual transmission, and they sold two of them this year. A total of two stick shift cars, and it's not even Ferrari's fault. The customers aren't ordering them, and their customers suck a fat dick. <laughs> That's it. Okay, really nothing more to be yeah. said about that. Seriously, <laughs> Ferrari customers. No. <laughs> I just put this in here because who would want to buy this car? That's really it. I can't. I, I see very few redeeming qualities about the Mitsubishi this brand. Outlander, the brand as a whole. Yeah, no. Yeah, even the Evo, which could be good, it's like not. kind of isn't. No. It was good track. seven years ago. Yeah, just yeah. like Honda. Yeah. yeah. So next, forget the Outlander. Oh, poor Saab. The problem with Saab is that this car was really pretty, actually. You ever see one of these in person? Yeah, it's, it's a, a nice really nice car. I, I drove one in Sweden, and it was actually a really it nice was kind car. Of nice, it was right? fun, yeah. And I feel like if they had just a little more money and just a little more time, yeah. Jason Castriota would have got his, yeah. his new 9.3 in there. Mm-hmm. He said he would send me the drawings for that, by the way, now that they're out of business. And, you know, Saab's... I, I think the world is a better place for having Saabs. Well, Saab, Saabs were always good cars, <laughs> and Saab owners were, it, it was it was a very kind of niche car. Yeah. The, the owners were always kind of quirky. You were like a college professor or like a doctor. But back in the like day, that. they were like fun to drive like those. Like, I, just, I used to have a Saab. I used to have one. It was a fantastic car. I was like crazy about Saab. We, Ian's we, got two of them. Yeah, Ian and his girlfriend both have them. Viggins, which no. I've never, I've only seen like three of them my whole life. He, they have two of them. So, yeah. He's cornering the market on Viggins. Right <laughs> but I, I'll, I will miss Saab. Yeah. I wish I they agree. had a little more time and a little more money. Yeah. And next biggest loser, oh, Wes's disgusting uh, arm. <laughs> 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 that sounds like crazy Terminator. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Next picture. Yeah. Next picture. Next picture. Oh, that, that's, that's, that, that's my that's my that's my left knee. That that hole is two inches deep. That oh. that's my left arm after it was so. That up. looks like something like scarier part is your boat. feet. Look yeah. What kind of foot is that? It's What's up with your toes? Um, What's that? Yeah, What's dude, that toe? I've got weird toes. Your middle toe is the longest one. Keep going. Keep going. It's not. There's more photos here. That's my butt. We're now get so much hate mail for showing his ass. Oh. This is this is how I arrived in the emergency room. Um, I, cra- I crashed in a Proly RS4, um, which I'm very sorry about, guys. <laughs> and I slid down the road in a pair of jeans. You should always wear proper motorcycle gear. I was wearing everything, but I was wearing jeans. You had to pick them. And I had I, I, I suffered I suffered some uh, some abrasion related injuries to oh. my posterior. 
Wes's entire body qualifies <laughs> as the biggest loser of 2012. That's horrible. That's, that's, that's that is painful. terrible. Uh, we had some predictions for 2013 that were submitted. Let's see the first one. The first one was from JF, and that was that everybody will want the A45 AMG. What the I hell think this is that? Bad. It's the new A class. It's like a more ugly one series. Yeah, but it's got like a turbo in it and all wheel drive, and it's going to be fast and it's going okay. to be neat. It'll be cool. That was that's our really our only prediction. Continue. <laughs> oh yeah, and then and then Mike said that diesel was going to. Uh, yeah, I think diesel's little by little it's start really starting to catch on. I, I love think, the diesel. And the hybrids. I think people are finally realizing that hybrids are just not as good as everybody says they are. They're not, and they're realizing that diesel is actually the smarter, more intelligent way to go if well, you want a car with mileage and reliability. JB comes from a country where it's predominantly diesel. Diesel. Mm -hmm. And is it a grass is greener on the other side thing, or is is diesel generally like you think diesel is the way to go? Well. I <laughs> Honestly, loads of people run diesel vehicles over in the UK and there's no problems at all. I mean, but it, like it, Jeremy it, Clarkson bitches about them like they're terrible, but they're really not. He bitches about it. He's kind of a dick. For the way Americans drive, you know, how many, how many people do we know that aren't car people that are afraid to like floor their throttles if that's yeah. bad for the car, afraid, yeah. afraid to rev their engines right. if that's bad for the car? That's what diesel excels at. It's those small throttle openings, yeah. that low revs, yeah. just squeeze it a little bit, accelerates onto the loads highway. You know? My mom yeah. has a diesel Q7 and it is fantastic. They're great. Every time I come to New York, instead of getting a press car or something, yeah. I just grab her. Like, Q7 don't go out awesome. and buy like a Prius. Go out and buy like a Jetta TDI. And, and, and yeah. Audi's you know basically I mean? bringing their entire lineup. It is going to be which diesel. Which is fantastic. Uh, so BMW is too. They're bringing a lot yeah, of Yeah, BMW too, which is good. The problem is getting diesel here, though. You have to go into a truck stop and stuff. No, you don't. It's not bad anymore. It's not bad anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Of stations sell diesel. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah. that bad. It's really not bad. I'll tell you that bad. It's not bad. I, I think diesel is going to be good. I think, what's, oh, what do you have next on my list? I believe next, ah, the motorcycle of the year, which will be Take presented that one, by Woo, the Jamie Panigale. Was. It is amazing. Not only stunning to look at, but it's uh, an awesome ride. It really is. I actually thought it wasn't going to be as good as it was. Why did you think it was not going to be good? Too much I ice. wasn't. It just you know, it just looked too perfect. So I was like, well, there's got to be some flaws with it. And yeah. then I rode it, and I was just amazed. Does it, it make that awesome clutch noise that Ducati makes? Drag 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 no, it, it, has, it has a wet clutch. It has now. a wet yeah. clutch. Yeah. Now. yeah, yeah. So no more tambourine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks but it's still, okay, but you know, really more, just Ducati more awesome. motorcycle, just the engine noise is just yes. phenomenal yeah. as well. And, and that thing is a bullet, it's so quick. What does it weigh? Uh, not a lot. No, it's <laughs> like nothing, right? <laughs> Less than you and I put and together. What is it, and what do they cost? What's the Panigale cost? It's, yeah, about, it's about 25. It's about 20, and then you give it 25 if you want Olin suspension. Or oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can get Olin's on it? That's cool. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. that. I mean, honestly, it comes with top notch components. And he oh, smoked suspension. Chris Harris, who was driving Brembo G2 brakes, all that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the entire concept that, that a car could ever be faster than a motorcycle is just retarded. Well, it yeah. used to yeah. be, though. It used to be back in the eighties. I mean, uh, it, the mo motorcycles just—it's just—it's just math. It's powered away. Power yeah. yeah. It's tough to tough to beat a motorcycle. And, and imagine, imagine how big the roads are for us. You, yeah. you get you get in these big modern cars, and you're going around a corner. And you have to be careful to stay in your lane. And <laughs> yeah. we were, we're like, we're on, you know, we got that much space. Yeah. yeah. There, it's, it's a badass bike. I'm yeah. afraid of it. I don't want to ride it. I don't want to be part of that bike. <laughs> well, you're riding Thank the back, you. aren't you? Big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Big he would, surprise. He wouldn't get on the back. No way. That's We're going to do it. Cool. We're yeah. going to get on the back. I'm going to wear a thong. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to look just like a rap video. It, ha it has to it be, like a, like, a rap it has to be like a 2001 Jixxer 750. <laughs> will, you get your, will, you get your, will you get your ass waxed first? Yes. Okay. It'll be delicious. <laughs> It'll look just like your ass after. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise, uh, we voted unanimously pretty BRZ, much the, uh, yeah. the FRS BRZ car of the year. Uh, that, it's the most boring car of the yeah, year. But it makes sense. How can we not? It's, yeah. a, it's the first it's so car obvious. that I think brings people back to the soul of driving. It's like a 240Z when they first came out, right? Front yeah, engine, rail drive. Fun enough to go out and, and learn how to drive quicker. Makes a, de makes a good it makes driver, a better, better driver. driver. Right. And, and drifting, which is probably the hardest and most rewarding thing you can do Piece in a cake. car. It, this is a great car to learn that, not only because it's light and it's fun and easy to drift, but because you can drift for multiple days on yeah. one on set of Prius tires. tires. On Prius tires. Yeah. They're cheap to replace. I mean, I went through eight sets of tires in a day drifting a Corvette, yeah. whereas I all day on this, like, same tires, drove home, no yeah. problem. It's like, just, it's pretty awesome. The fact and, that two companies came together. I mean, yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. It, well, it's a good car, too. It really it, is. It is a good car. It's, and when the, the turbo ones come out, it'll, it'll be, be better. It'll be better. Yeah. I just drove a turbo one for tuned. Tuned, coming soon. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to finish this off before we get out of here and go to important meetings and things. Mike and I, in 2012, purchased beaters. We did. 
And so we are going to have, we're going to let you guys decide the beater of the year, or the beat off, as it were, who bought the better beater. So up first in the beater <laughs> challenge, the battle wagon. Yeah. Yes, this is the 1992 Chevrolet Caprice, powered by a L05 V8 that makes a whopping 180 horsepower. That's 5.7 <laughs> liters. 5.7 liters. 180 horsepower. Wow. But it does have a 370 or 323 gearing in the rear. And an awesome tail gunner seat that we use for filming. So when the back falls down, big Thad's in the back with the camera doing our thing. And it's got the suspension, which is about equivalent to an ocean line. <laughs> <laughs> it is very wafty. It, it, it is. But we put seven, no, 8,000 miles on that car in five months. And the thing has never missed a beat. Well, it, was we, a, it was a total grandma car. It was, right? it was literally a grandma car. Yeah. And the thing has never missed a beat. It gets 400 mile range out of a tank. It's, I, it's... Rockstar it's status. Rockstar. As far as it I is pretty awesome. It's, it's awesome. so awesome that when Chris Harris came and came on the podcast, yeah. uh, he went home going, I'm, I'm, I'm buying, buying one. one. Like He's literally <laughs> trying to buy a Caprice <laughs> wagon in the UK right oh now. God. I don't know if it's right or left hand drive. And we, a, those are all left hand. Well, we don't know because he's not here because he's not a team player. That's true. And of course, <laughs> my, my beater, boom! Yep. 2000, uh, no, sorry, 1993. Mercedes S six hundred. No, no, it's chrome. There's a chrome piece there. It's act, it, it's an optical illusion. Ah. It's, it's it looks like the bumper's coming off. It's not. There's chrome there. Okay. S six hundred V twelve, armor plated, bullet. <laughs> it's bullet, <laughs> it's bullet <laughs> crazy fans the, out there. the original because I spent on road testament like a month ago with Alex Roy saying don't ever buy one of these and now I have one. <laughs> It, uh, original MSRP was $140,000 plus. In I paid $2,500 for it. It has 192,000 miles on it. Six liter V12, 385 horsepower. And the, it has an option that I have only ever seen in this car, which is a power operated center mirror. We need to Never run, we need to run a series of, of, of challenges. Be, uh, it, it, we will have a series, a series of, of challenges, challenges between yeah. the battle wagon and the Benz. Suffice to say, there is a reason I went for the bulletproof. It was owned by a rapper uh, before me who goes by Big Bird Mafia. I swear to God. <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God. And actually, other than a couple little things, it's actually in really good shape. So leave a comment. Who bought the better beater? Musto or I? Did you buy a beater this year? No. Nope. Beater bike? So I wish we had a picture Larry, of your car. Beater bike? Larry's, in, 3, miles Larry's Impala SS. If you Another Capri space. That's right. Yeah. Giddy so that's, uh, that's Road Testament. Let's thank everyone who's here and shame everyone who's not here. I was here first, waiting for all you ass. No, we were Katz's Deli eating pastrami. I hate you all. <laughs> See you guys in 2013. <laughs> we out.